There are three primary diagnoses that can be made based on the sonographic appearance of the gallbladder and surrounding structures. Cholelithiasis, meaning the presence of gallstones within the gallbladder, cholelithiasis, meaning a stone that is passed into the common bile duct, and cholecystitis, meaning inflammation of the gallbladder. This video will review the findings typically associated with cholecystitis. As a brief overview, those findings include gallstones or gallbladder sludge, a thickened gallbladder wall, and the presence of pericholecystic fluid. Visualization of the gallbladder without identification of stones has a high negative predictive value for the diagnosis of cholecystitis, while the combination of these three findings has a positive predictive value of about 90%. But keep in mind that gallstones are neither necessary nor sufficient to make a diagnosis of cholecystitis, and up to about 10% of cases of cholecystitis will be classified as acalculus. In this clip, note that the gallbladder appears somewhat distended. You should also be able to appreciate the multiple internal echoes within the lumen of the gallbladder, which indicates several small gallstones. In addition to these discrete stones, you may be able to appreciate a more diffuse area of internal echogenicity along the posterior wall, which is in a dependent position when imaging a patient laying supine. This area likely represents gallbladder sludge. Finally, more experienced clinicians may notice, even in this quick sweep through the gallbladder, that the anterior wall appears to be somewhat thickened. By decreasing the depth, zooming in, rotating the probe into the short axis of the gallbladder, and freezing the image, we can identify the remaining abnormal findings in this case. First, note the measurement of gallbladder wall. Anything greater than 3 mm or 0.3 cm is considered abnormal. The anterior wall is used for this measurement rather than the posterior wall in order to avoid false positives caused by posterior acoustic enhancement artifact. Occasionally, the wall will appear heterogeneous and the thickness may be measured as normal in some spots but abnormal in others. This can be an expected variation of true pathology, but could also be caused by artifact related to poor image quality, low frame rates on older machines, or an inappropriate angle of insonation. So take your time getting a good clean freeze frame before you try to measure. Finally, notice the subtle stripe of anechoic fluid separating the anterior wall from the liver parenchyma. This is pericholecystic fluid. Also notice the similar stripe of fluid within the gallbladder wall itself. This gallbladder wall edema is pathophysiologically identical to pericholecystic fluid and is ultimately the cause of the wall thickening associated with cholecystitis, whether it can be seen as a discrete layer of fluid or not. When multiple layers of fluid are seen within the wall, the finding is known as onion skinning for obvious reasons.